Around the World in 80 Trees by Jonathan Drury. So you get the, you get an introduction. So you get an, um, in the contents, it's divided up into different um, areas in the world. So you got Northern Europe, Southern Europe and North Africa, Eastern Mediterranean, Mediterranean, can't talk today, Africa, Central and South Asia, East Asia, Southeast Asia, Oceania, South America, Mexico, Central America, and Caribbean, North America, where to go next, and index. So, um, basics, um, the basic setup for each kind of tree, in no matter what section that you go to, you get, um, and in the index it tells you the tree and the page. So, you got something like that you got like England London Plain and then you get like the scientific Latin name you get history what it looks like and you do get some really nice illustration so focusing for once that's nice <laughs> illustration and then like the next one is Hollum Oak in Spain Spain. So in this one, a lot of them you do get um, what their seeds, leaves, what the tree actually looks like type of thing standalone. And the other one you get kind of a painting image kind of thing. So, so like you got like the flowers, the fruit, and then like kind of like a painting almost of a representation of that tree. So this one's a, obviously a pomegranate one, yeah. And then, like, it's supposed to be like the cherry tree kind of thing. And you do get um, a good introduction to that type of tree. It's, you don't go totally in, they're not, it's not totally going in depth to, um, about that tree, you can obviously get more information about that tree in other books or websites or whatever. So, and I'm pretty sure there's like, oh, like, there are like way more than 80 types of trees, but it's just a general kind of introduction to ones we wouldn't typically know about. Like, oh, that's apple tree, that's an oak. <laughs> obviously there's more than one type of oak, but you know, um, so, and in the resource, like the where to go next, is more like the resources, it's divided up into like different sections. So you got, um, to suit any enthusiastic lay reader, so you got trees, their natural history, um, between earth and sky, and there's two other books, and there's, um, for those four books, you get like a two-line thing of what that book is about. Um, delving deeper, um, you got um, Biology of Plants, The Plant Book, and three other ones to look into. And then you got by location books. So like you got Europe, uh, Africa, India, North America, and then there's a few other ones. And then you got by theme as well, so by diversity and plant-animal relationships, color, medicine, um, the tropics, and a few others. You get um, even more specialized sources, so you got the, the fever trail, the hunt for the cure of malaria, um, a book of Baobas by Ellen Drake. Um, yeah, so it does give some good jump off points um, if you want to do specifics, um, knowing about like trees. So you are looking at, again, a good variety of trees 
per like continent and uh, the illustrations in the book that some of them that I showed you are by Lucy Clerk and they're really really nice drawings like illustrations um, you are looking about two pages um, of like information and with like maybe one or two pages of like illustration um, of each tr tree um, if you do get that extra illustration um, again it's a good introduction you are getting some like history about it you are getting a little bit of information about the tree and yeah like if you are a person who's really wanting to get more into your knowledge of trees this can be a really nice book to look into so around the world in 80 trees happy readings